And thick and fast on the morning of the 31st of August 1997, the world had awoken to news of a tragedy, a brutal car crash in a Paris tunnel, a gaggle of photographers on motorbikes, Princess Diana and her boyfriend Dodi Fayed, dead. From the early hours, distraught members of the public began to gather outside London's royal palaces to pay their respects to the people's princess. Just after midnight, Diana and Dodie had left Paris's Ritz Hotel via the back entrance in a bid to elude the paparazzi. Along with Diana's bodyguard, Trevor Reese jones in the front passenger seat, the couple were to be driven by deputy head of Ritz security, Henri Paul, to an apartment owned by Dodie's father. Unbeknownst to anyone at the time, Paul had been drinking heavily and was more than three times over the legal limit. They'd been in the car less than five minutes when the crash occurred. It wasn't immediately clear what had caused Paul to lose control of the Mercedes at the entrance to the Pont de l'Alma underpass, though many theories would attempt to explain it in the years to come. After hitting a passing car, it collided head-on with the 13th pillar in the tunnel at 105 kilometers per hour, over twice the legal speed limit. When it came to a stop, the crumpled shell had become a tomb. Fired and Paul were pronounced dead on the scene and taken to a mortuary. Rhys Jones, the only passenger wearing a seatbelt, was still conscious, but had suffered serious facial injuries. Diana, meanwhile, had no visible wounds. It wasn't until she'd been removed from the car that she went into cardiac arrest and was taken into hospital. Her heart had been displaced to the right side of her chest, tearing the vein that carries oxygenated blood from the lungs. Efforts to save her life were in vain, and she died at 3 a.m. By late afternoon, once the news had broken, Diana's former husband, Prince Charles, and her two older sisters arrived in Paris to bring her home. They accompanied her body back to the UK, where she would be taken to the Hammersmith and Fulham mortuary for a post-mortem. But for weeks and months to come, many would struggle to come to terms with what had happened in Paris. And the death of the people's princess will live on forever in infamy.